Hi guys, thanks for coming back to the channel and what do we have in here? South Korea government official accused of crypto insider trading. Are we surprised? I don't think so. I've mentioned this before. Unfortunately, it was a foot. You can check my Twitter. You can check my YouTube channel. It was one of those things. Government thinks that they are unstoppable. They can do whatever they want. They can play around with people and they don't care if normal people lose money. In the uh, last few days, I'm pretty sure quite a few people lost quite a lot of money. You know, there are people that bought Bitcoin at 15,000, 18,000, 19,000, and obviously Bitcoin dipped all the way to 9,500. It was scary. For the people that are new, they haven't been into, you know, long enough into cryptocurrency, seeing your portfolio diminishing as fast as it did for the past few days, you tend to panic. Weekends come in, people sell. Few people even emailed me pretty much saying they've lost at least half of their portfolio just because they gave in on foot and they should have obviously listened to channels like mine and others where we did talk about these exact things when it comes to cryptocurrency i've always said it if you do believe in the technology in the cryptocurrency that you're backing up and the team behind it eventually everything will be okay cryptocurrency it is not going anywhere and what else you have to remember is that when the asian government but in general any government says we're banning something you invest into it i mean <laughs> look at youtube look at facebook they are banned by the chinese government but look at <laughs> how you know where are they right now and the people that did invest into them into those you know two platforms they made lots and lots of money and the same thing is happening with cryptocurrency so let's quickly look at the article and see what it says right here so according to local report on thursday january 18 some government officials from the financial supervisory service fss who were aware of the forthcoming announcements about either a full ban or significant restriction on trading bought and sold cryptocurrency just before that information went public well 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 i'm not surprised one bit unfortunately the government think like they're superior to us they can do whatever they want because they have the power and we are still somehow trusting these governments despite the fact of what they are doing to us you know they they keep saying one day we don't like cryptocurrency we're going to ban it the next day they come up with different news and saying oh how great it is going to be used it's you know this is the future but we're just going to have to regulate and all this rubbish we've seen that before with the china foot a few months ago uh we now saw the same thing first the korean uh justice minister coming out then the bitcoin the chinese government coming out with the bitcoin banning of the miners and all this thing then the finance minister coming out saying oh it's not gonna happen you know a ban it's not gonna happen a few days later oh we're not sure yet we're gonna have to see what's gonna happen and all this thing is just the foot so they can do exactly this we have confirmed the intelligence we have confirmed that some public official have done such an act and it's uh, very uh, disappointing but if you did have uh, strong hands i'm sure you just write it off into the sunset and now you're smiling once again because the market is definitely going south and it's looking much better than the last few days and i think it will continue it's a cryptocurrency market just like any other market there will be ups and downs but eventually prices always go up up and away that's all you have to remember a public petition calling for uh, reversal of restriction as well as the firing of some high profile ministers has now attracted more than 200,000 signature meaning it requires a government response within 30 days whatever i don't think they're going to be any firing of any government officials i mean they may be but i doubt it and um i don't know i don't think the banning will happen i think that was just a foot it was just for so the price can go down so people can obviously make lots of money these individuals that are creating this foot are not in for the cryptocurrency technology and the future changing the future you know and cutting out the middlemen the banks they are in for making money that's all they care they don't care you know what's happening to the normal person how much the normal person is going to lose in fact probably they do actually care they want normal people to lose they want normal people to sell their money so they don't actually have any more cryptocurrency and the control falls once again back to this wells you know the people with the money and we just uh, staying and watching in you know from outside in and finally here it is a fss official stated there is no code of ethics and no code of conduct for virtual currency investment in fss regulations so it's difficult to say about punishment at this stage pretty much confirming there would not be any punishment i mean you know that's what the governments keep saying it's not regulated 
so it's the wild wild west if you lose money you lose money I, you know if you make money you make money if you make actually you're going to come to us and pay us taxes despite the fact that we are not regulating and there's not you know code of ethics we don't agree with it yet you know they, they need to be worked out on it they need to be strict well, but you know they always come up with this rubbish uh, when it's on there obviously to defend themselves but they do like taking taxes when we do make profits but when we do uh, make losses they don't care because it's not you know there is no call of ethics that's it and before i go guys i also want to share this chart right here especially if you're new to the cryptocurrency always come back to this chart and remember in january for the past four years they've been always a dip 2015 2016 2017 2018 also some people are reporting that always in january a few weeks before the chinese new year there's a dip possibly people are taking profits enjoying the holidays just like we did in december and then they'll come back and everything will resume to normal i mean the market is definitely looking much healthier than a few days ago without a doubt and i feel bad for the people that sold on the dip on the real real dip you should always remember you buy on the dip you know you never you know you you buy on the the foot and you you sell on the hype if you want to obviously make money now if you're a trader it was the best opportunity for anyone that is trading i mean tron it's something that if you did watch my previous video you, you must have seen i've made quite a bit of money using tron and now tron is pumping again 945 satoshi guys it is incredible where tron pumped up the lowest it went for the last 24 hours 477 satoshi but prior to that it actually dipped to around 370 308 satoshi which was in incredible and at that point if you saw because of that panic and that foot i feel bad for you it's a it's a learning thing just like myself i still i still learn things so i'm not saying i'm not making mistakes as well but you know it's one of those things you just have to remember you never sell on a foot especially from a government you just never do it you know it's it's a crazy man it's a crazy uh, wild wild west when it comes to cryptocurrency but just believe in the technology believe in the future let's try to cut the middlemen the banks despite the fact that yes we do use them in order to cash out at least for now maybe one day uh, you know there will be cryptocurrency accepted in anywhere and everywhere so we would not be needing the banks that's it from me let me know if you made some money, if you made a good trade, or if you lost some money. I mean, it's I don't I know it's not nice to talk about losses, but at the end of the day, you know, when we do share things with each other, that's how we learn and that's how we become stronger and uh, eventually succeed. I mean, cryptocurrency it is here for us, the normal people, not this wealth and corrupt governments, you know, pushing things around in order to align their own pockets and not caring about anybody else. Thank you for watching, guys. If you enjoyed this uh, video, feel free to subscribe and share. If you haven't already, come follow me on Twitter. And I will see you on the next video. Bye for now.